Listen, do you think you have the next million dollar idea, but you just don't know where to start? Here to tell us how they turn their ideas into millions are mompreneurs, Chris Borelli, Kirsten Quigley of Potomac, Maryland, and also Jessica Heron from San Francisco. Nice to see you all. Thank you so much for coming. So I'm very excited because I've read about your, your businesses, and I think they're great ideas, and I think they are things that moms at home should start thinking about, ways that they can turn their real-life experience into viable businesses. And I know that, that, Chris, you and Kirsten started a company called Lunch Skins, so tell us about that. That's right. We started our company about four years ago. And it was all based on a very simple idea. It's a replacement to the plastic baggie. Essentially, we thought we were using so many baggies, and why wasn't there something in the marketplace that was fun, fresh, but also easy for moms, reusable, but it had to be dishwasher safe. Nobody wants to do more laundry. Right. So they're dishwasher safe and they're safe. They're, they're tested food safe, something that really would just come in handy. You could just pull them out of your purse. They could have dog treats, snacks, sandwiches, makeup, whatever you need. Such a cute idea. And Kirsten, yeah. when you think about the environment and all those plastic mm -hmm. bags that, I mean, I'm guilty of it too. I use right. plastic bags all the time. That's right. And it's such a simple idea. And it's exactly what brought us together five years ago as we were putting together this school auction basket of easy ways for kids to go green, resourceful things they could do every day, changing habits one step at a time. We stumbled on the statistic that 20 million plastic baggies are thrown out every day. And we thought we can make something better. We now you guys have kids. We do. We you, do. Three, three kids and four kids, yeah. right? Kids. You have yep. four kids, mm -hmm. you yep. have three. three. So you had your own built-in focus group, right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. How, how did your kids feel, oh, about the, uh, feel about the bags once you guys started to make a prototype? And, right. and I guess, what, did you start putting them in their lunch boxes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They are proud product testers. They go after it. They get in there and... I think it's such a fantastic idea, but how yeah. did you take it from conception to reality? Because I think a lot of us have these good ideas, but then we just don't really know the next steps. So right. what did you do to make it happen? I think, well, it was internet. a lot of hours researching on the yeah. internet and trying to find that perfect fabric. And we went directly to the food industry and we sourced a product of, of fabric that has been used in pastries and restaurants for years. So I think that that's when we really said we're on to something here. How is the business doing? It's going well. It's How going really well. Like, yeah. I mean, have you made a killing on we, <laughs> We're really proud of what we think of as um, the mark that we want to measure by, which is how much plastic have you saved? So we've sold just a little over a million, 1.2 million bags, which we equate to taking 500 million bags out of the landfill That's and the water. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.